Today I want to talk about how to deactivate a user. Let's just say for example, you know, someone left the company or whatever the case may be, you'll need to end up deactivating them. So what we'll do is we'll go into the setup section as I'm in here, and then we'll go into the users side and then select users. That way we can see which user we'd like to deactivate. All right, so once I'm in there, I can see all my users. We have this uh, column right here called active. So just showing you, you know, all of these users are active currently. But let's take a look at Marty Bird. We'll go ahead and click into his name. And you can see he is an active user and he is using a Salesforce license. Because remember, that's how you're billed in Salesforce, right? The amount of users, the amount of user licenses. So I'll go ahead and just click edit for his user profile. And I'm going to uncheck that box that says active. And notice how it provides us a message. Deactivating users removes them from all delegated groups and sharing privileges, so on and so forth. Pretty much letting you know what's going to happen whenever you deactivate this person. So a great thing about deactivating a user is that you get that license back to your overall license count. So if you needed to provide you know, this license to a new team member, then you have that extra license. Um, now there is another option. You can freeze a user as well. However, it really doesn't give you the same, you know, functionality. They are similar though. So freezing somebody, it will not allow them to log into Salesforce, but it doesn't free up a license. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or need any assistance, always feel free to, to reach out to us.